Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about submitting an employee expense reimbursement using the new payment request form issued in the fall of 2019 by WCS Treasury and Accounts Payable. I'm going to assume that you've already reviewed and are familiar with payment request forms, that perhaps you have um, watched the video about how to complete a payment request form. Uh, here we're going to talk about expense reports and submitting your own expense request. So here I'm um, going to type in my own name and I'm going to look up my vendor number. By clicking on the link you'll be taken to the Tiger Portal. Hello Tiger Portal. There we go. And if you don't know your vendor number yet, you can just easily type it in. There's mine, 50998. Employees are always in the 500 series. You'll note that when you look up employees in the vendor uh, vendor data master list here at the Tiger Portal that it does not show your address information that uh, as a courtesy to employees uh, and for privacy reasons we don't show that. For regular vendors you would see their information. So here 500-998 fine. Um, now invoice number for this instance I, I am just creating or some, I have some random receipts that I've collected. Uh, it, you're an employee, you don't have an invoice number, so you might say something about a September trip or uh, a location that you visited or an event that you um, that you went to. Uh, for invoice, put in today's date. Today is the 19th. And the amount, let's just leave this right now. So what I want to do is just talk about the form. Oh, reasons for expenditure. I'm just going to say September trip. I'm, but you might put in something a little more explanatory. Echo Summit, um, conference that you attended, uh, or if you were visiting um, WCS branch offices in certain regions, you might put something there. Remember that this reason for expenditure needs to be only 32 characters or less. Fun. If you are familiar with your categories and your expense accounts and you only have one item, you went to, uh, you, you took a Metro North train into Manhattan or a Long Island Railroad train into Manhattan for a conference and you know what the account number is, you can just simply put it here and then go sign off on it. There's nothing, uh, no reason to go through the expense report. But let's just talk about this. So. Uh, here is the expense report tab and we have some basic simple instructions. Select yes or no to the currency questions in cells C6 and C7 if applicable. Input your expenses in rows 11 through 60 and then click on this uh, copy accounting icon and it'll copy, it'll summarize your expenses and copy them to pages 1 and 2. Oh, fine. Let's just say a uh, train ticket. I took a train uh, and I'm going to make up a date, 9-2019, fine. I have, I'm going to number my receipts, it's number one. Okay, well, you know, did you notice that I went straight to this and didn't answer this question? Are you, are all of your expenses in one currency? Yes, all my expenses are in U.S. dollars. Convert your expenses to dollars? Yes, well, makes sense. Your expenses will be converted to U.S. dollars. That's fine. Well, if you're traveling in the United States, those are the answers you should make, and and that's fine. If you were um, traveling in Europe and all your expenses were in euros, and you could go say yes or you can go say no. If it said no and all your expenses were in euros, we would pay you in euros. That's all there is to it. Uh, we still have to report. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, so let's continue. Fine. Um, 
currency of my expense is US dollars. Fine. Now, how much was my expense? Well, I'm going to go to this PDF backup tip and I'm going to upload uh, my Metro North train ticket. Fine. How much was it? Open it up. I used the I used the app. It was 22.50. Fine. 22.50. Back to the expense report. It was 22.50. Now, if that's all I had, I could go and some summary information down here general ledger oh i didn't set my general ledger so come on over here well transportation we put the most common ones at the top the five four ones and the five uh the five four one fives the five one fours and the five one five four one fives are uh travel domestic and travel international this was rail domestic so fine and my cost center one one zero one six zero Please note this is a wide form, so if you might have to scroll, if you're, or you might have to change the zoom on it so that you can see it all. Fine, one one zero one six zero. Fine. In this instance, I, it, it's summarizing down here. If I had more um, train information, train ticket information, it would add it down there. Do I have another receipt I want to use? Let's see. Add additional dinner in the Bronx. Fine. What I got here? Uh, nice meal. Add zero. Add trotty other over in uh, Arthur Avenue. Seventy-eight dollars and twenty-three cents. Fine. Uh, Seventy-eight dollars and twenty-three cents. I'm just gonna put it in while I remember it. Seventy-eight twenty-three. And I'm gonna say dinner. Uh, fine. Line one, 19, receipt number two. Yes. Now, if I want, you see, now since I said all my, all my expenses are in one currency, I only have one currency to choose. If I want, I can copy and paste this down, and it'll be nice and easy. Yes, yes, yes. What the heck? Copy and paste this down. It's fine. I'm always leery of copying and pasting inside the spreadsheet because you know some of these fields are connected to different locations. I'm just going to change this to meals domestic and I'm going to have it go to my cost center. If you have a double B WBS element or a fund or a grant or an activity code, you can do that as well. It's summarizing down here. If I had multiple lines, uh, I used 40 lines and they were different. Uh, different uh, trains and, and, and meals or even with different cost elements so they would all summarize down there. When I'm ready I click on the copy accounting and it copies it over to the main sheet and it fills it in. See it says $100.73 it's put in the GL accounts and it, my cost centers and it's ready to go. You would say, oh, it's a payment to a WCS employee, that's me, and I would sign my name and send it off. I'd click on send review, and off it goes. Let's talk about something a little more a little more difficult, and this is where I'd really prefer to start with a fresh copy of the spreadsheet. Well, let's just say my, let's put these back to, Are they in? Are all your expenses in one currency? No. Uh, your expenses will be converted to US dollars. That's all there is to it. Fine. Uh, the uh, we can't go and ha have you put in six different currencies and then say I want to be paid in euros. It, the, the that just gets a little confusing for the machine. Though the uh, let's continue along. So I have some other expenses. Additional backup. Uh, so here, I have a Euro taxi. How much did we pay that taxi? That taxi was 55 euros. 55. So here, uh, 55 euros. I can say. So now, my expenses are in different currencies. I'm going to go to euros. Euros. Say 55. And that was receipt three, and I'm going to say 
Euro Taxi. This is, well, I'm not, I don't travel for work that often, and certainly not out of the country. This may not be Transportation Vehicles International, but, uh, but I'll put it there for this instance, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assign it a fictitious combination of Grant and WBS element. Fine. Euros. I also have. Oh, so let's talk about this. So you see, it automatically converted it to sixty dollars and eighteen cents. That is using the spot rate for euros when you open the spreadsheet. If I save the spreadsheet and open it again later, it's going to have a different amount. That's just the way it is. When you send it to accounts payable, don't worry. You will have copied it over here, and it will be locked in the in the in the last rate that was uh, processed when you did this copy and paste. If you bought your euros at the airport and you know that you bought them at 0 0.92, well then you, that you should be reimbursed at the rate that you bought those euros. So that's fine. It will automatically take care of that. There, That's what this manual FX entry is for. You put your currency of the expense that you rendered the expense over here and the amount is in that same currency, US dollars are the foreign currency the, the, where you incurred that expense and then it will calculate it here and it will allow you to overwrite it. I'll do one more. I have gas in Guatemala. So fine. This is another uh, vehicle expense uh, but I'll say uh, GT gas GT gas yes, 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 yes. got around. That's expense receipt four. This is going to be in Guatemalan Quetzals. I should have looked it up. I just, let's go look it up. You're going to open up for me here. Thank you. It's this one up here, so bear with me. Uh, windows, view, rotate, Counterclockwise. It's this one up here. 380 euros. 380 Guatemalan castles. That's going to be 380. This time, I'll just take what it is, and I'm going to use that same 5104513. Fine. This time, I'm going to do it to a. Um, I'll make one up. 1GT03. So, if you look here at the bottom, you'll see that it has summarized them by different categories. Even though these were gas, they broke them up into the correct allocations. I'm going to click on this icon. It's going to copy and paste them over. It's going to lock in those rates, and there you go, and you have it right here. So, it's updated the amount, and that's fine. Now, it's in U.S. dollars. If I wanted to get paid in euros, because I am an employee in who lives in France, I could do that here by changing the payment currency. So, sign it, submit it, save it. I'm going to send it for department review. Remember that when you save it, it's going to save it to the, uh, it'll save it to the default directory. And because I was loading receipts here, it's going to save it to the same directory where I had those receipts. So I'm going to send this off. I'm going to send it to myself for the purposes of this demo, but you would send it to your manager who's going to approve your expenses. And off it goes. So that's how to use the expense report in a very simple manner. I'm sure people have much more complicated um, expense reports because of them traveling. WCS employees do. But remember, you can override the FX. It will summarize it properly. It goes up to 50 lines. If you need more than 50 lines, you need to break it up into two different payment request forms. There's only so much we can do. So thank you very much. And if you have any questions, always contact Treasury uh, or email us at treasury at wcs.org. Thank you very much.